GM friends, and welcome back to another episode on the Friends Validator YouTube channel. If this is your first video, I'm Joost Jure Maybaum, and this show is stuff that brings together crypto pioneers, exciting projects, and a thriving community. And today we will talk about Akash Network, because we at Friends Validator set up our validator on top of the Akash blockchain. We will talk about what Akash Network is all about. We will talk about the rise of the decentralized compute. We will talk about the price potential of AKT and how to buy AKT and stake it in a proper way and how to calculate your staking rewards. So if you want to get started with Akash, this is the exact video you should watch. So let us talk a little bit about Akash Network itself. What is Akash Network all about? What is it useful for? What is the focus of the project? And it's very clear it's about decentralized compute. Now, some of you might ask, okay, what is actually cloud computing? Why is it important? And why do we need to decentralize it at all? So cloud computing is a pretty bit, big thing in today's world because the internet essentially runs on it. So any kind of service, like even a website or something needs like a certain degree of cloud computing and also we validators we also need that and this is why it's like such a huge industry and let alone aws like the amazon web service made and here it, it's stressed in this article generated 91 billion dollars in 2023 and the whole industry of uh, of, of cloud computing um, is estimated to reach 600 79 billion dollars in 2024 so we are talking about a huge market here and it's also important it's an important market because again like a lot of internet services need cloud computing like everything uh, what uh, what you do needs a certain degree of cloud computing and we also want to make sure that there are no single big players that control all of that because they can, for example, control the prices or we have experienced that on ourselves uh, with Friends Validator that all of a sudden Hetzner um, said that validators are not allowed to use the Hetzner services anymore. This was like for a very short period of time back in 2022, I guess. But you can see this is what cloud computing or decentralized com cloud computing is all about. It's gaining back the power in this crucial sector and cloud computing will become much bigger because everything is about to grow especially ai machine learning all of these things the crypto industry we will have more validators more blockchains that we need to run on so cloud computing is definitely here to stay and uh, with akash we want to make sure that there is a decentralized alternative so that you have a decentralized uh, cloud computing um marketplace as stressed here which is akash the akash marketplace where you have like providers that provide this uh, cloud computing capacities to so-called tenants and uh, obviously the money in this ecosystem is the akt token let's talk about the akt token so besides being the fee token the money of the decentralized cloud computing market it's also being used to secure the blockchain because Akash Network, and this is also what I want to stress here, is one of the OG blockchains in all of Cosmos. In fact, it's, I believe, the first blockchain that enabled the very, very first IBC connection to the Cosmos Hub. So yeah, it's uh, as old as the Cosmos itself, Akash Network. And yeah, this is also one of the reasons why I'm so happy that we finally, finally validate on Akash Network. But anyway, um, since Akash Network runs on the Cosmos SDK, you can stake Akash in order to secure the chain and get rewarded for it. So yeah, it's um, a very, very straightforward staking reward, rewarding uh, process. Um, what is what's also important to stress here is, and this is why where we now talk a little bit about price movements, is that Akash Network gained a lot of hype in uh, the past couple of weeks, mainly because Akash operates in the deepen slash AI niche. And this niche, this sector, this narrative got a lot of momentum, as many of you know. And Akash Network is really 
the project that focuses the most on, for example, AI in, uh, in, in, in the cosmos and, and beyond. So it's definitely one of the OG projects when it's about uh, merging crypto XAI or, you know, deep in because Akash network brings real use cases to the world, which is, yeah, decentralized cloud computing, something that we desperately need. But since Akash network already exists since 2021, the fully diluted market cap is at $1.2 billion dollars. Um, which is like pretty cool because the uh, current market cap is 1.2. So there is still some AK, there are still some AKT tokens that are about to enter the market, but it's not that much anymore. It's like 40 million or something. So um, you already have like a very, very straightforward supply uh, circumstances, which is very good to see because there's no risk that, um, yeah, more AKT is being printed and you as an as a new investor basically um yeah get dumped on so this risk is i wouldn't say it's not existent but it's like much much lower compared to what you see with chains that are brand new and also if we think about that a market cap of 1.2 mil of 1.2 billion in today's market environment i think that's nothing too crazy akt is still below its all-time high and yeah, I mean, you see what kind of uh, projects are out there. Meme coins uh, also with like um, with a market cap way beyond the billion dollar uh, benchmark. So having a project like Akash Network that brings real use cases to, to the space is uh, something that is, yeah, worth looking at if we see that the market cap is only at $1.2 billion. Obviously, all of this is no financial advice, but... Yeah, again, have a look at how large the uh, cloud computing industry is. As we can see here, it's ex it is expected to grow uh, into a $679 billion industry this year. So if we uh, yeah draw the compassion here and see that the market cap of uh, Akash Network is only $1.2 billion, we also see a lot of, yeah, a lot of room where um, Akash grow into. So definitely very excited about Akash. And um, again, we launched our validator here. Um, you can see it here, friends validator among uh, a lot of other uh, fantastic validators we know and uh, work with. So here is our validator. We just entered the active set. So we are relatively low still, but uh, this might change further down the road. So yeah, if you want to support our journey on Akash Network, please feel free to stake with us. Speaking of staking, now I will show you how to buy and stake AKT on Osmosis and then calculate your staking rewards. If you are from the Cosmos, this is nothing new to you. But uh, if you are like kind of new, then uh, yeah, Osmosis is um, a decentralized exchange where you can get all of the coins of the interchain. So yeah, let me buy some AKT and I will therefore use some USDC, select AKT and let's say, okay, I'm getting 20 bucks. So this is 3.8 AKT. The transaction is uh, broadcasting, but it's um, very fast as you can see here. So the transaction went through already. If I now go back to the assets, um, then I can see here my AKT, I click on it. And uh, then I see my balance here, 19.9. And now the thing is in order to stake it. So right now, so in case you're really completely new to the cosmos. Um, right now we are on the Osmosis blockchain, but in order to stake AKT, we need to go back to the Akash blockchain. So there was just like an IBC uh, transfer essentially where we bought Akash. So now we need to get Akash back to the uh, native chain, which is the Akash network. And uh, therefore you already need um, a Kepler wallet um, yeah, it's the interchain wallet. You can also use a uh, leap. So 
there are a lot of tutorials out there how to set up a wallet, so I don't want to dive too deep into that. But in order to stake it, you just open your Kepler wallet and uh, then you connect the wallet um, from Osmosis, um, like on Osmosis, and select the amount of AKT that you want to send back to your, um, yeah, to, uh, to, to Akash. And that's the important thing. The AKT in that sense does not leave your wallet. It just switches the network in a very seamless fashion. So this happened. And now I go back into my Kepler wallet. And now finally, the AKT arrived in my Kepler wallet. Uh, this is a Kepler dashboard. As soon as you open your Kepler dashboard, um, yeah, a new website um, will basically open. Um, but yeah, in the beginning, Kepler is uh, just in in the um, in, in the browser extension, and then if you click on Kepler dashboard, this website will open. But yeah, now you can see all of the validators here. You can stake your AKT with, and there are like a couple of things you need to keep in mind before start staking. There's like um, yeah something that a lot of people tend to they go ahead and just to say whatever I stake with the first one. But the problem is the first one has most of the voting power, um, which is in Akasha's case, Kava Labs with 9.69%. Uh, so in order to make Akasha better blockchain, it's also in your interest to keep the set as decentralized as uh, possible. So the best way to do that is to also choose smaller validators. That's like the first thing. Then the other thing that you will recognize are the commissions. So there are different types of commissions. What is a commission? A commission is basically the price you pay the validator for the service they do. So for example, we had friends validator, rerun all of the service, we participate in all of the mainnet upgrades and so on and so forth. Um, we give you the opportunity to stake AKT, but we charge a commission fee for that service. This is how all the validators operate. But the commission fees can differ and this is where you have to be careful. Um, the industry standard is 5%, but uh, you also see some um, some 9% here, some 10%. And this is where you have to be very, very, very careful is uh, 100%. So Dora Factory, for example, has 100%. This means that if you stake, for example, 100 AKT with uh, Dora Factory here, then you don't earn any staking rewards because the entire commission fee goes back to the validator. Um, the reason why some validators do that is because they, for example, invested in AKT very early or yeah, um, collaborate with the foundation very, very strongly. And they just say, hey, we have a validator for ourselves. We don't want other people to stake with us. Uh, we basically yeah, just want to profit from the staking rewards. This is our own money. But this is what you really have to keep in mind. Um, there are different staking rewards and the higher... Um, uh, staking commission. So the higher the staking commission, the less money you will earn with staking. And again, in my book, the industry standard is 5%. Some of the validators who are more in the institutional game, for example, Chorus One or so, they charge, I believe, 10%. But this is a different game that's like for large investors, institutional grade investors that say, hey, I'm happy to pay a commission fee of 10% um, for like um, like a very, very high level of um, of security. So in regards to friends, you can just go on on our on our validator here. And then I would always recommend to not stake all of your coins with one validator. So I would go ahead and say, okay, um, one AKT I stake with friends validator. Yeah, it's around five bucks. So the transaction goes through. And now you stake AKT with friends validator. Um, yeah, here you also see the correspondence actually not 10%, but 7.5. But that's also like a good way because you can say, okay, I'm also going ahead now and stake one AKT with chorus one just for the sake of it to have uh, to maybe pay like a higher commission, but uh, here I'm staking with an institutional grade 
validator. So that's like a smart decision. The transaction goes through very, very quickly. And then what's another good validator? Obviously, stake CETO. So I'm going ahead and stake another AKT with stake CETO. The transaction goes through. It is in, in progress. But now I'm staking uh, with three different validators. And that's, this is how you ensure that uh, the set stays decentralized and um, that you're also yeah, staying secure there because if one of the validators gets slashed, you don't have to worry about that that much because um, you diversified your risk. What's also very important is here that you leave some AKT on the side, just some dust, because um, it's very important that you claim your AKT regularly and re-delegate your staking rewards. Why is this important? Well, there is the compound effect. And this is where our partner staking rewards comes into play. Uh, staking rewards is a website where you can simply, yeah, uh, calculate your uh, your staking rewards. They also have like um, a program where they list all of uh, the validators um, that got reviewed by them. So all of the validators that are on their website listed are, I would say, generally very trustworthy. We are also on this website, so they do kind of a background check. And uh, when going to the website, you can check, okay, what validators are legit? Uh, what validators can I trust? But what I find the most interesting part is, and this is why it's so important to buy your staking reward, to, to claim your staking rewards and then immediately uh, re-delegate them is because of the compound effect that you can see here. So this is where you can play a little bit around and play with your imagination where, yeah, the AKT price goes next. Because if you, for example, say right now, the AKT price is $5.34. I'm, zoom, I'm zooming in a little bit and say you stake for the next five years and this is the um, this is the amount of uh, staking rewards you will receive if the AKT price stays the same. So say you put 500 bucks into AKT, you would get 97 AKT, so almost 100. And um, yeah, over the time, you would get um, 400 52 um, AKT back if you don't compound your staking rewards. If you compound them, though, you get 735. So on top of the 500 bucks you already invested, you get another compounded effect on it after the five years, which is a very decent thing to see. And the amazing thing about the staking rewards website is also that you can say, okay, what happens if the Akash price completely goes through the roof? So say AKT does a 20x, which would be like a market cap of around 20 plus billion. So I think 22, 25, something like that. So say um, Akash really makes a 20x and goes to 100 bucks, then you see what happens. And uh, this is where also the um, metrics becomes um, much uh, in more interesting. Okay, 1,000 is maybe a lot, but <laughs> uh, let's stick to one. 100. So if a cash goes to $100 and you don't compound your staking rewards, then you earn staking, then you have like after five years, you, ha you have earned staking rewards worth $17,000, which is pretty crazy to see. And if you compound them, then it's a uh, 22,000. So this is like extremely, extremely, extremely interesting. And uh, you also see what this would mean if um, if like 500 times 100 is like uh, 50,000. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's like a ve very, very decent tool here where you can play around and play with your dreams a little bit. But you can also see how important it is to stake because it does not only decentralize and secure the network, but it's also something that is very rewarding for you as an investor, especially if you compound your staking rewards. With that being said, guys, if you have any more questions for Akash or if there are other tutorials that you need within the Akash ecosystem, please let us know. Comment in the comment section below. We are very, very honored to finally start validating on top of the Akash blockchain. And if you found this content valuable, then please go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I hope I will see you the next time.